whatever you do in your acting career, uh, James, and I, I only hope that it's, it gets more and more successful, is you will definitely be the only person in your profession with one of the greatest plays in the history of the Super Bowl to go along with it as well. Um, <laughs> and I say this. It's not way, one of. Show that clip. It's, it's not one it's of. It's number it one. No. no I, 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 I understand yes, that. Yes, it is. What I, do you think is? But, uh, Butler's interception. Because you, you said the coach was smart for doing that. That was a smart move. That should have never happened. You asked me a question that and I answered it. We can you're dispute a Patriot it. Friend. I Listen, don't like you right now. I want to see why you didn't get into season three of Heels. Okay, <laughs> We're going to have him as nothing but a teddy bear. I like it. Listen, this guy is a great actor. We want everyone watching Heels because the more people we watch, we'll get season three. Yes. And we will and we will have you on the show, Rich. I will do it. As a uh, reporter oh. who beats him up. Uh, just so you understand, <laughs> I have... Oh, he could be the reporter that gets thrown around. Like, no, no, no. Yes, no. yes, no, actually. No, no, I, guys, don't don't just pigeonhole me as a reporter. <laughs> okay. okay. How about I, as a lover? You want, I, a, you, you want to be a wrestler? Excuse me. You want to be a wrestler? I, I don't want to be a wrestler. Okay. I want to be an actor, and I have range. You have James, range? I have this? range. How about this, Rich? Yes. Stephen Amell... Uh, told me to to remind you that he called you a very handsome man. He did. This is the star of heels. He was he was on. Uh, he, he and his wife were at the uh, Super Bowl one mm -hmm. year. I believe it was in so the one in ah, I forget where it was in Dallas. And he calls me over, and I went over to him, and he told me I was a very handsome man. Okay, well, what and if I you steal his me. wife in the show? One hundred percent, I'm in. <laughs> okay. One hundred percent, I'm. One hundred percent, I'm in. I think you could but, write that in. But I had to say it's one of the best plays is because one of my dear friends and colleagues is Kurt Warner. And every time this gets brought up, it is, it, it is an issue for him since he's the one who threw it. Um, Again. How is tired it, is were you my fault end? for catching it or him for throwing it? I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> but what was your perspective? Can you walk me through oh, yeah, pre-snap all the way to um, the very end of this play, through, James? Um, so pre-snap, <laughs> it's, a, it's a max blitz. Uh, Coach Lebona called a max blitz. Mm-hmm. The whole half is like we're getting there a step too late, you know, or we're getting there just as he's throwing the ball. And uh, on this blitz, Lawrence Timmons is supposed to be the free shooter, and he's blitzing inside of me. So I got to get this tackle to step to me, and Lawrence Timmons would be the free shooter. And I'm like, you know what? I just really don't think I'm going to get there. So uh, Coach gave us a little lead way to be able to do things. So Freelance, a touch. A touch, yeah. That's all. It'd be like ad libbing. Ad -libbing. It'd be like when Troy got deep third and he jumps the A gap. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That's all Troy would yeah. do, right? Yeah. Paul so, Amalo, yes. Um, I'm like, I got to step at this tackle to get him to step towards me so Timmons can be the free shooter and he can't hold the ball because I'm just going to play for the slant in. That's the closest thing to me that I can affect. And, you know, I'm just going to drop and play for it. So the ball snaps. I step, the tackle jumps out at me. When he jumps out at me, I see Timmons get through. I drop back, mm -hmm. and I'm just looking at Kurt, and he's looking at me like I'm looking at you. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, he sees me. He's not about to throw the ball. And I see his arm start going up, and I'm like, oh, snap. He's about to throw the ball. And when he throws it, I'm like, oh, shit, he threw the ball. <laughs> so when I catch it, that's why I'm kind of surprised as I crater it like this. I just really didn't believe he was going to throw it. So, you know, we take off, and as soon as I catch the ball, in my mind, I'm like, I'm gone. It's nobody there. You're standing on the goal line right I'm, there. Oh, I didn't care. It was nobody there. I'm like, I'm gone. Uh huh. So, Shay goes, DeShay Townsend goes, like, give me the ball. I'm like, yo, get the hell away from me. Go block somebody. I'm not giving you the ball. It seemed like <laughs> I wanted to be pitched listen, to. Listen, man, it, yes. It seemed like I fought with him for, like, 30 seconds, right? By the time I look up, it's a sea of red jerseys, dude. And I'm like, oh, I'm not about to make it, you know? <laughs> So we start running, and we get through the, like, first uh, cluster, and I think it's Kurt. And somehow we stumble through that. After we stumble through that, it's um, somebody on my side. So mm -hmm. um, I think Is it Larry? Kiesel or, or uh, oh. Timmons came okay. back and cracked back on somebody. As I'm, you know, so I get past that. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gone. And then, again, it's a running back. Woodley comes and knocks yeah. him, and then I jump over Woodley. And I'm like, yo, I got to make it now because I feel like I've been running for like the last two minutes. <laughs> Plus time's running, time's yeah, running it's out. It's only 17 seconds at that time when we first snapped the ball. Right. So I'm like, you know, I got to, you know, I got to get in. And as I take off and start veering back towards the sideline, I see another lineman. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, it's the Carl Lewis alignment out here. <laughs> so I go 
and uh, he dives at me, so I just start kicking my legs as high as I can. I'm holding the ball like a, a loaf of bread now. Mm -hmm. Fitzgerald comes in from the side. Yeah. I don't see him, nothing. He could have been a hero. All he had to do was hit the ball. He missed. He hit my chest, and it gave me time to cover the ball. If he had went straight down and hit the ball, it was gone. Like Peanut Tillman punch it. Oh, it was gone. Right. But he missed on the hit and hit my chest, gave me time to cover up. And I think Breston hit me in the back, and we all rolled into the end zone. Yeah. Yeah. And when you rolled into the end zone, did you know you had made it? Oh, I knew it was a touchdown. Because I landed on my head. I landed on my neck. My neck, like, just popped, cracked. That's what made me lay on the ground along with being tired, is I didn't land on nothing but my head, and then we, we rolled in. Because when I hit, I saw the goal line at my head. Like, it was, like, right here. And I'm like, yo, we in. And I was on top of Larry, too. So. Did the – Top yeah, so I'm watching the play as he's describing this. Mm -hmm. That is the detail that you have is amazing. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. literally step by step at like the 40 yard line. There are six Cardinals around you. Oh, yeah. It's, and it, you it. get by all of them. You jump over a dude. Yeah. And then Larry comes from out of bounds, basically, yeah. and right. has a chance to strip it, but misses. And then Steve Breston hits you into the end. Yep. What was it like in the locker room after that? At after? I don't know. I was getting IV'd up. Yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, we were just getting ready to, you know, get to the second half, you know, and, you know, try and, you know, finish it off. Um, that was it. Unbelievable. Wow. I, I will never forget that moment. Yeah. That was an incredible Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. And then you know, after all that, you had to sit there and watch Big Ben go down the field at the end and to win we it. shouldn't even had to do that, man. They had, a, they had a penalty called in the end zone that shouldn't have been called. It should have been <laughs> over with when, when Santonio caught the first down. We'd have kneeled on the ball. It would have been over with. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.